Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the fall ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog. I'm going to be a very busy man today. As you can see by what ended up on my bed at about 2.15 in the afternoon today, the Amazon driver was actually really nice. He said, step away for a minute, I need to take a photo, which is kind of verification that they delivered the package, which is protocol from Amazon, which I'm quite okay with because I really like it when they leave a photo of your delivery, especially smaller items. Normally, I'm not on the ball to get something, but an item like this, we definitely have to do it. But the driver was a really nice guy. I had no problems with him. I followed all his directions. I had a mask on when I went outside to get this, and he put it on the porch. Big, heavy item. But it shows that when you're a delivery driver, you have to be able to handle 40, 50 pounds at once. So that is what we got. Yes, this is not the Hollywood Shoto hat. This is a Metallica hat. The same one that I wore at Kroger. I don't give a shit. I love this hat. It's an awesome hat. It was like $40 at a concert. I love me some Metallica. I love me some Disturbed slightly more, but there are some songs from Metallica that I like better. So we're going to assemble all this, take a couple hours out, and we'll be back as soon as we're done with that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shin Devali Ages Hi with Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog for Wednesday, December 30th. First off, I would like to apologize for not getting up a daily vlog yesterday. I received this item, and unfortunately, I did not need the item, and I spent a couple hours building it, messing up my desk and whatnot. However, you guys will notice that there's a little bit of a difference on my desk. Yes, I have the Samsung Odyssey G7. Yes, I have my old 28-inch Samsung monitor. However, while I was fiddling around and trying to get my LG 34 inch on the desk along with my 32 inch Samsung monitor. For some reason, my LG monitor decided not to turn on. So I don't know if fidgeting around off the desk multiple times screwed up the monitor. So unfortunately, we're stuck with the 28 inch monitor as my second monitor and we have this beautiful Samsung Odyssey G7 as my main monitor. Now I don't know if the camera will actually do justice as far as picture quality goes, but I can see on a clear as day that there are much deeper colors on the Samsung monitor. You can see the red so much better on this compared to the other monitor. I know that the camera probably can't pick it up itself, but looking at the naked eye, you can see the color so much brighter on my Samsung Odyssey G7, which I paid about $700 for. It's an expensive monitor. Thankfully, mine did not come with any dead pixels. I was able to update the firmware using a flash drive, and we had zero issues with this altogether. Now, because I didn't get to read comments yesterday like I had planned, because I had to work on this monitor, I'm going to read some comments today. First off, I'd like to congratulate myself on getting 100 subscribers. Not that it's a big deal, but since it's a vlogging channel with no gameplay and basically just talking about my life, thank you to the 100 plus people that actually care about my life and to everybody else that left comments. So we have some comments over the last week or so. We're going to start off with Shitmonkey and as in shit man. I saw Wonder Woman on HBO Max, awesome movie. Merry Christmas, Mama Shono, Shono and Beth have an awesome day. Thank you very much for that Retro Boy One. I hope you had a great Christmas as well. And if you do pick up Warhammer Chaos Bane, which I should be getting today, we gotta play just because I wanna check out the game. I heard it's like a Diablo clone. It's a PS5 game and it's something to do. I'll see if I enjoy the game. Rob Russell said those were some awesome Christmas gifts y'all got. And the next time I think I spend the night over Beth's house, or the next time she comes over after New Year's, we're going to start watching some South Park episodes. We still got to finish up The Simpsons, but I want to get into South Park. I also want to get into Beavis and Butthead as well. So we got a lot of stuff to watch in 2021. I am going to renew my Disney Plus in a couple days when it comes up to renew. So ISO asked me what my thoughts were on Wonder Woman 84. I did incorporate this in the end of the daily vlog. I'm going to say that Mama Shono did not like that kind of movie. She's more into action comedy. She felt there wasn't a whole lot of action in the movie, and in some cases, case that she was right but at the end of the movie there was a lot of action there was a lot of footage that was cool to see and a lot of kind of surprise i wish that wonder woman 84 got more of a cameo than like one minute of time i thought that was a little bit lame the fight scene obviously for that was really cool but again why promote wonder woman 84 for like a minute and a half of the movie that's something i did not understand also r.i.p john huber aka brody lee slash luke harper i know a lot of people were complaining about the wwe tribute 
to Luke Harper. Obviously didn't acknowledge him as Brody Lee. They acknowledge him as John Huber. Why would they give the competition any publicity? Well, it's WWE. It's what they do. They don't care about anybody. They're disposable. Unless it was like The Undertaker or Pat Patterson or somebody major that passed away. In Vince's eyes, John Huber did not contribute much to the business. He was there as a minor player. If it was somebody like Pat Patterson who got a tribute and everything else, he was loyal to the WWF for over 35 years. It'd be just like if Gerald Briscoe passed away. I think he'd get more than a little in memory of thing as well because he did contribute a lot. And I know he was there for the Pat Patterson thing as well. Dashi said congrats on getting 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. And if you guys have friends that like watching me, have them subscribe to my vlog channel as I talk to you guys almost every single day. Dakun Rinky also mentioned 100 subs. Well, hopefully you're 101. Rob Russell also said congrats on reaching 100 subs. And then Battleground Medic is grinding cock so hard I'm nearly uncollected. Speaking of Marvel Contest of Champions, I'd like to welcome Robbie One Kenobi into the Marvel Contest of Champions family. Hopefully the minute somebody fucks up and you get some levels, we can swap you in for somebody else that is playing like garbage. Obviously Vladimir is still kind of new to the Alliance. Hopefully as he levels up he'll be a little bit better, but he's already starting off on a good foot because he's using his best champs, even though as a newer player I wouldn't expect him to, just because you're going to need those champs for progression, but if you're working a lot and you get them champs out of quest by the time you're done working, that shouldn't be a big deal. We have been successfully beating map 5 every single day. But I wish the Alliance would do a little bit better on Apocalypse because I'm tired of wasting one to two revives on getting it done. And I know partially that's my fault. Hey, why am I not getting Apocalypse down? Throw everything at him. If you don't wipe, you're not doing enough to him. That's the way I'm concerned. So thank you, Mrs. Old Gamer and Boss Bob for wiping and doing as much damage as you can. If you have two champions left, shame on you because that's extra damage that I have to do. Now, as far as today's streaming plans go, I'm probably going to be playing a little bit of Genshin Impact on my PC, but I also want to check out Warhammer Chaos Bane, which I will be getting later today as well. And as far as tomorrow goes, I think I'm going to do a little bit of Marvel's Avengers just because I want to play the game a little bit more as I felt I played it really hard for a week and I had a decent amount of viewers playing the game. I even had USA Greatness and 97P Howard playing along with me. And Lord Memma, I think I played with a little bit as well. So I think it was just a good time. And I've always told people, I want to get back into console gaming. I want to get back into playing games with people. As much as I want to play Genshin on my PlayStation account, I pulled another 5-star yesterday. And supposedly one of the best healers in the game, but she can also do damage. I need to get her ranked up, but one of the main specialties is that she can also track collectibles in leeway. That's a big deal, because being able to track like the plants, the other things like Core Lapis, that's going to be a huge help. Especially for getting the last 10 levels on Zongli. But yeah, Kiki is my next project. And I'm going to be doing some chest farming today. I want to get in Dragonborn and get that area done as well. But we'll see how we do on that. And once again, if you want your comments to be heard, you got to leave a comment. If you don't leave a comment, you're not going to get shouted out. You're not going to get attention. And obviously, if the comment sucks, I'm just going to delete it or not read it. We didn't get a whole lot of comments this week. We probably got eight or nine comments. So yeah, make sure you leave your comments. Also, if you are a Borderlands fan, me and Vince have been playing a lot the last two weeks. We took like a three-day break between Christmas and Saturday. We basically picked up again this week. We had a little bit of a trouble with a quest. Apparently, there's a slaughter quest that you can constantly repeat. I did not know it was repeatable, meaning that we can just keep doing that quest for XP and loot, which is going to be a good time once we're level 65 and we're able to do higher mayhem levels. But we also found out something cool last night is that if we use Iridium at Mayhem 10, we can get some damn good weapons. I only had 30 Iridium, so I shot out a bunch of greens, got my lost loot upgraded by one. I'm looking forward to playing Borderlands 3 with Vince tonight. We will not be doing a Vince and Shono show, however, tomorrow because I want some sex to start the new year. I'm sure Vince is going to be partying it out. But we'll be back Friday to start the new year with the Vince and Shono show. I'm not sure if we're going to continue playing Borderlands. So far, I've been enjoying it. So if that's what Vince wants to do, that's cool. If he wants to do a couple hours of Fantasy Star Online 2 and then switch over to Borderlands at 11, I'd also be down with that on Friday. Let me know what you're in the mood for. And I'd like to thank everybody that continues to support these daily vlogs. Again, I would like to apologize for not 
making a daily vlog yesterday. As I said, I spent so much time working on getting my monitors up and running, getting everything wired. I don't have a speaker anymore. That was one of the reasons I wanted to keep my LG monitor is that it had a speaker, whereas neither of these two monitors have a speaker. So here's a little fun fact for you guys. I'm actually using my old Bose speaker I used to use at work and it is still fully charged and it is working just fine. You can see I got the Logitech Brio webcam. I got the PS5 webcam. I have to figure out how I'm going to actually do my PlayStation streaming because when I use the Elgato, I would love to have it on a monitor. However, I also wouldn't mind having it on a TV and just looking at chat from the right. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. When it comes to party chat, that's where things might get a little complicated. However, it doesn't have to be complicated as long as people have a little program called Discord. I think that's way better than using PlayStation party chat. I'm talking to you, USA greatness. PlayStation chat is definitely not the same as Discord. You don't have to turn party chat on and off. So Rob Russell, if you don't have Discord, the next time we play Mortal Kombat 11 or even any game on PlayStation, including Borderlands 3, we need to get back into that on PlayStation as well. The next time we play a game, go download Discord. My server is in the description of YouTube videos. And this monitor is so nice. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids. We'll see you tomorrow for yet another daily vlog.